Today we are going to see migration of the schema Scott from Oracle database to Postgres database. So before starting with migration there are a few packages that are to be installed. We are using yum list method and so these packages are to be installed from the root user. <coughs> so the first package is yum install per star. I have already installed these packages so probably it would say nothing to do. In your case it will take some time if you are, if it is the first time that you are running this it might take some time for the all the packages to be installed. Okay so it says nothing to do. The second package is <coughs> yum install is yum install okay. okay so once the packages are installed the next thing we have to do is we have to download the files that are required for the ORA to PG tool in, in this session we are going to use ORA to PG tool for migration so there are three important files for the same. I would give the link to download the files in the description. Uh, now here I have already downloaded and saved it to my bin path ok sorry not in my bin path to the location wherever I want to <coughs> ok. So here I have created a folder as tool here I have all the three files. These three files are the uh, files that are required for the ORA to PG migration toolkit. Okay? <coughs> okay. Now what we are going to do is okay, when you are downloading what you will do is you have to save it to your shared folder. Copy this files from the shared folder to the location where you want to save it. Okay? In my case it is this path. User pgsql13 I have created a directory as tool and I have saved the files here. Now the next step what we have to do is we have to unzip these files, untar these files. Okay, the first I'm going to unzip the first file tar hyphen zxvf. It's done. Okay, the next one tar hyphen. It's done. all the three files have been um, unzipped or untarred, extracted. Okay, So the next step is follow the three process that is Perl make file, make and make install for all the three files. So I will go into the first file dbd oracle. I'm listing the files here. So you can see a make file dot pl. Okay? So now I am going to give Perl Okay, for me it's done. In most cases, if it is the first time you are running this command, you might get an error for home path. Okay, the Oracle home path you might get an error. So in that case, you have to export or export the below paths. That is, export Oracle underscore home. The error you will get is Oracle home path is not defined. Oracle library path is not defined. So when the, when you get those errors you have to follow the below steps okay I, I am finding out my oracle home path here okay paste it here now I have not got any error but just to show you um, a scenario like how to export the path I am just typing it library path is equal to dollar oracle underscore home slash lib okay. export path is equal to dollar 
powerful underscore home slash bin dollar path okay so these are the three paths that you would export when you get an error at this stage okay now my perl make file is complete the next step is make that is done next is make install it's done now we'll go to the next uh, next folder and follow the same steps here you need not export the path every time for every folder one on uh, only if you get an error you need to export the path okay so cd dbt okay it's um, okay now uh, perl make file for my second file is complete next make make install done now ls lrt cd we are going to the next file so perl done make make install okay now it's done all the steps i have repeated for all the three files okay next we are going to list the uh, now i am in this path okay i am going to list my files here here i have ora to pg.conf.district file this is my configuration file so what i would do is i would copy this and rename it to ora to pg.conf okay i am just renaming it so that i get the configuration file and i can edit the same okay now this is my configuration file here you ha we have to set the oracle home path okay the same as we set earlier this is my oracle home path okay and then my uh, host i have to mention my ip address SID. I have to mention the database in which my schema exists. That is dev. Here we have an Oracle user and an Oracle password. And then we have to set the schema name that we are gonna migrate. Here I am going to migrate Scott schema, and I am going to enable this. Then we have to. mention what all is to be migrated in my case i just take table and insert for demo purpose okay i just need a table and the values that are to be inserted okay i just save okay then what i do is i need to um go to my oracle site and uh, prepare my tns and listener configurations okay so now now i am in my oracle uh, page uh, this is my listener and tns files i have already configured the same i will just show you so this is how it is configured i have set my ip address the port number the uh, database name and the oracle home path this is my listener file and this is my tns names file okay this is how it is to be set now i just need to start my listener is already started okay it's already up and running next i would just ping it's 
dann den rausbringen. Okay, that's done. Okay, my listener and DNS is up and running. Okay, the next step I would do is I need to run my Aura to PG tool. Okay, before that I would copy this Aura to PG configuration file to this location. asking me if I want to overwrite yes I need to overwrite it now I would just run the tool aura to pg okay so now it's asking me again that the path is not properly installed so what I'll do is I will just export the path again okay export oracle underscore home is equal to export ld underscore library underscore path See. run it again we'll just wait for uh, this to complete okay now the migration setup is complete okay in, in at this stage what error you would get is uh, username uh, I not identified or username password log on denied something like that so um, so what you would do is you would go into the Oracle um, you would um, up the database and just uh, give alter user system identified by manager the username is system password is manager you just alter user system identified by manager this you would have uh, noticed in the aura to pg configuration file just need to alter it okay now what we'll do is we would see if the files are generated my sql files are generated user pgsql 13 tool okay so ls hyphen lrt yes i can see that my table dot output dot sql and insert output dot sql is generated so these are only the two options i had opted for so only two files are created now i would switch, uh, connect to the database and import it okay so cd User PGS thirteen. Okay, so slash exclamatory ls hyphen lrt. Okay, I can see the two files here. So the f and now just to cross verify, I see uh, there are no tables here. Okay, so now I would import slash i. okay it's created now if I check I have six tables okay but I would not have any datas inside okay so to import the datas I would need to do slash import insert output dot sql okay now slash dt I have six tables select star from EMP I have 14 rows just to cross verify the same I have already uh, opened here the schema is caught and I have six tables for the same okay these six tables are here also so the migration is complete 